I am 47 years old and I reside in Southfield with my family, wife and two kids. In the summer of 2015, I started noticing just some minor things. I was catching colds, but just having a more difficult time shaking them. And I just felt myself more tired. Toward the later part of the summer, I was having some allergy and breathing problems. Had a sinus infection, it turned into a chest cold, it turned back into a sinus infection. But things weren't put together until I went to see a doctor in December. I got a call from him and said, your blood work is, uh, is not right. Went to see the oncologist. The oncologist told me, you have leukemia. With a diagnosis like that, my first emotion was just thinking about my kids. All the things that you think about when you have kids, when you have a family, when you have a wife. For everything that you go through, it is the most anticlimactic thing that you have. Three doctors show up with a cooler. They hook up one IV bag. It just looks like a, a bag of blood. It runs for about 10 minutes, and then they leave. But then what happens is those stem cells have to move through your body. They have to go to your bone marrow and go to other places and it takes them about a year to fully engraft. The stem cell transplant that I had was doing was essentially rebooting my immune system. So it was taking my bone marrow, chemotherapy kills it all off, and then the stem cells essentially regrow a new immune system using my donor's DNA. My stem cells came from a 23-year-old living donor. There are a lot, of, a lot of misconceptions that people have about stem cells in general, about the donation process, about how painful the donation process is. And thinking to join the registry is a painful process, but all it is is a cheek swab. And then you wait and see if you match with someone. That's something everybody can do. We've had some interactions by phone and by email and those types of things. Mostly I was just thanking him and just letting him know, just letting him see my family and letting them know that he gave me my life back and gave me, gave my kids their father back and gave my wife her husband back. I am extremely thankful. And so that's why I do everything that I can to talk to people, to give back, to try to ease people's concerns. Because knowing where I was two and a half years ago, it just helps to hear positive stories.